Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Well, 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 if you've missed the chicken recipe, then yes, you need to actually go back and watch that one. I'll leave a link in the description box and that can help you out. This beauty, yes, you can make this at home. It's a no fuss one pot dish, but the flavor is absolutely incredible. I love flavors. A dish has to be flavorful. If not, uh, no, nah, I'm not going to enjoy it. <laughs> and I'm sure everybody can relate to that. So for the anchovy and orange gravy, yes, I have formulated the anchovy sauce and also seasoning. So that takes away all the stress away from you. Yes, in terms of, you know, building upon the flavors, I've done that. Now, the anchovy sauce and seasoning have been formulated with spices and herbs that I know complement any poultry dishes. So to start this off, in my frying pan, I've added my olive oil, which has that herbaceous flavor that I always talk about. To that, I've got some chopped onions. Yes, you can use your banana shallots or any onions that you have available. And now I'm going to add a pinch of salt. That will season the onions and, of course, the oil. And let's saute this for at least about eight minutes on that very low heat. All we're doing is intensifying the flavor of the onions and on all of this mixture because we need that sweetness, absolutely. So after eight minutes, you should have something like this. And when you do, please smile because you are on the path to a flavor-packed <laughs> gravy. That's so cheeky of me, isn't it? Anyway, so let me just give you a closer view of the anchovy sauce that I've made. And you can just see the spices and herbs in there that's just being formulated and that is just incredible. Now I'm scooping two and a half teaspoonful of my abobi tadi or may I say my anchovy sauce to my onion mixture and of course I'm going to be mixing everything together until it's well combined and warm it through. Now the abobi tadi is me paying homage to my tribe, the Ewa tribe from Ghana. Yes, because we do have the anchovies, the dried anchovies, of course, and we dry roast it. It's usually mixed with this beautiful spicy salsa and then enjoyed with something called akla, <laughs> which is made out of corn and must try. It's a very traditional dish and a favorite of mine. So I'm paying homage to that. So here, this has warmed through and now I'm adding my orange juice. Now the orange juice pairs really well with the anchovies. Absolutely incredible. And of course the anchovy sauce is also made out of like some beautiful green chilies as well. That is just herbaceous and spicy, but not too spicy, just so. Now I'm going to allow this to simmer for about five minutes. Now the next thing is I'm just going to be adding a little bit of my anchovy seasoning, which has more of a rosemary, garlic, onion base to it. Yeah, so it also adds a different element to the dish. Yet again, you'd find all of these um, available on buyindudu.com. I'll leave a link in the description box so you can grab a box or two. So I've done that and now I'm going to be mixing everything together. And I'm just going to allow this to simmer just for about 45 seconds. And you would have thought I was done. No, now I'm just going to be adding the zest of one orange to this and that just gives it that aromatic orange flavor that is it i mean if you've ever had duck l'orange yes that is the element of this gravy yes so definitely that's why this would work with your duck with your goose with your chicken obviously um or guinea fowl even yes absolutely any poultry yes that is your best friend this sauce is your best friend so yet again i'm just going to be mixing this just for about 30 seconds because as you can tell this is thickened up and this just looks beautiful the orange zest has done its thing so i think i'm just going to turn the heat off whilst i allow this to cool down a little bit and then blend it because you just don't want to have that accident when you blend it something very hot yeah so after about 10 minutes of cooling down now i've blended everything i've just transferred it back to the same 
frying pan and of course there's no waste in my kitchen so I gave the blender a rinse and added it. So now this means that I have to cook this just for about another five minutes on that low heat. And here we have a pièce de résistance. That is it. You've got your gravy. All this keche wahala, all this long talk. Aha na medru. Bien non imbashe. Ona eh wofi eh ona o kita school boys flo. A bo vita de bo va ko anchi ko pa da nulo. Pa nu ka mo va oda. Na me de ma ko pe kita school boys bi me de anka so aka ho. Eh yan si di e brunya. In do to start now sitting. Ah, no, but Anyway, so here we have it. Now, if you have enjoyed this, yes, um, don't forget to also watch the chicken and potato recipe because that will be the same guideline that you can use for your other poultry dishes. Yes. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment or two. And when you do try this recipe, yes, please give us a, your feedback, your honest feedback. What you liked, what you didn't like, you know, we like to hear that because that's the only way I can improve and also know that what you guys also like and also, you know, tailor my sort of recipes to your own palates as well. But yeah, for now, you can grab the anchovy sauce on buyindudu.com. As I mentioned, I'll leave a link in the description box. So yes, grab a box or two. Um, I've also got the box of five where I've got the pork, cake, um, the prawns, the goat meat, and of course, the anchovy sauce, um, which I've made into a five pack, you know, Christmas pack. So yes, you can grab the Atadi box, which is available on Buy In Dudu, and you can gift it to someone or try any of our spices and natural seasonings. There is nothing artificial, it's all so natural. Anyway, you'll find traditional African recipes on my blog, indudubaifafa.blogspot.com, so do check it out. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as indudubaifafa, so pass by and say hi. Noel, thank you very much for my theme song. And until my next recipe, you kings and queens, thank you ever so much for gracing me with your presence and for watching to the end. And guess what? Me, I love you for you. Just be you, be nice, be beautiful, be your gorgeous self, always. See you in my next video. Toodles.